Interesting facts about famous people. Interesting facts about Robert Mitchum. Robert Charles Durham Mitchum, 1917 to 1997. Films he is known for include 1944's 30 Seconds Over Tokyo, 1947's Out of the Past, 1954's River of No Return, 1955's The Night of the Hunter, 1958's Thunder Road, 1962's Cape Fear, 1966's El Dorado, 1970's Ryan's Daughter, and 1973's The Friends of Eddie Coyle. Here are some interesting facts about Robert Mitchum. Mitchum was a misunderstood leading man, concealing his talent under his air of disinterest. Born in Bridgeport, Connecticut, his father died in a train accident when he was two. Robert and his siblings were raised by his mother and stepfather in Connecticut, New York and Delaware. A contempt for authority led to problems. Mitchum spent a good portion of his teen years on the open road. He claimed that on one of these trips at 14, he was arrested for vagrancy and sentenced to a Georgia chain gang, from which he escaped. After a variety of jobs, Mitchum started acting in a Long Beach amateur theatre company. He worked at Lockheed Aircraft. Job stress caused temporary blindness. Around this time, he began to get small parts in films, dozens within a short time. He was cast as Lieutenant Walker in Story of G.I. Joe, 1945, receiving an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actor. He became an icon of 1940s film noir, while equally comfortable in westerns and dramas. His lazy style and been there, done that manner was highly attractive to men and women. He was a real superstar by the 50s, despite a short prison term for marijuana usage in 1949, which seemed to enhance his bad boy appeal. Seemingly dismissive of art, he acted in artistically thoughtful parts such as Charles Lawton's 1955's The Night of the Hunter, and even co-wrote and composed an Ontario production at the Hollywood Bowl by Orson Welles. Adept with accents and seemingly indifferent about his image, he played in both forgettable and unforgettable films with nonchalance. Many overlooked the prodigious talent that he brought to projects that he found compelling. He shifted to television in the 80s as film opportunities waned, gaining new fans with 1983's The Winds of War and 1988's War and Remembrance. His last film was 1997's James Dean, Live Fast, Die Young. James Dean was played by Casper Van Dien. Thanks for your time today. I hope you liked the video. Drop me your comments. I appreciate likes, shares and subscribers. Bye for now.